Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Today, we're going to be heading to the Water Ruins, where a lot of the enemies there can paralyze you. So you want to get paralysis protection on your slower fighters. Everyone but Jean will probably want something for that. Jean will be fast enough to avoid it, so I keep her on the Luck Ring. And, well, Lamina's going to be fast enough, too. And we also got bigger rings, too. So, that's all. everything we need. So, we could just warp there, but just for those who did not pick up that location earlier and you don't know where it is, well, just go to Azado, and that's pretty much the closest location to, well, where the water ruins are. Or you could just go to Meribia or Vane, and no, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. That's pretty far away, isn't it? Well, whatever. Anyway, let's check it out. Now that everything's drained, got a new epilogue dungeon to go through. And more ultimate than, or more and more ultimate than ultimate equipment. Okay, so we got these guys here. I believe that will be the black brains. Yes, and digester. Okay, so when you see them just kind of sitting there like that, bored out of their minds, <laughs> uh, they're just going to attack you normally. If you see its web moving back and forth like that, it's going to try and drain HP from you. These guys are really fast, faster than Gene, so I'd probably recommend just using Catastrophe to wipe them out. The black brains here, if you see them just sitting there like that, They'll just attack you normally, but if you see the mouths glowing like that, they're going to try and mute or seal your party members. So, actually it doesn't really matter who I'm going to have attack because, well, I can just catastrophe all of them. That's the only way you're going to take them out quickly enough. I wouldn't do that on every enemy around here, but just for the digesters. Everyone else is reasonably slow enough. And I restocked on um, Starlights and all those other healing items back at Vane there, off screen. Can I make it? Ha ha! Uh oh. Okay, I want to get to that Gorgon guy there. There we go. Awesome. So, anyway, here's the last two enemies Gorgon Car! Sounds like a Godzilla villain or something, I don't know. But anyway, okay, so we got him there. When you see it just does uh, its mouth chomping like that, it's going to try and paralyze you. If you can see the eye that would otherwise be where its mouth is, then it's going to try and poison you. That's why I got the fresh ring on Hero there, too. Because he's most likely going to uh, take the hit. Those guys are a little fast, but Gene should be okay. Actually, you know what, Ronfar? Go after the brain in the back there. Gorgonka and the brain. No. No, just kidding. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Did I have Gene attack the Gorgonka? I hope I did. I think I might have... Okay, good. good. Phew. You know, she might not be able to kill that guy if we don't get a crit. There we go. That works. Yeah, they have 800 HP, so... Well, all the other enemies, though, don't have a whole lot of HP, like three to 500 or so. Unlike the optional dungeons. Kind of odd that they make the optional ones more difficult, but whatever. Ow. Oh, yeah, the Dark Dials. I kind of forgot about them. When you see them standing still, they attack you normally, like you just saw. If you see it on fire, it's going to, I would imagine, throw fire at you or however else uh, attack from range. Uh, let's see, there's no elemental weaknesses here. They resist all statuses as usual by this point in the game. So, yeah, there's really not a whole lot of strategy you can do no matter what. So, okay, well, now that I've shown off the new enemies, I'll just uh, load up a save file, made it advanced, so that way I don't have to fight them while I'm recording here. And that way I can show you the... Well, it's not really a puzzle, but... The puzzle solutions for this part, or whatever. Okay, so we're back at the start there. Now you see on the right, got a switch there. 
So if you press that, it drains the water up here. What else do we get here? Oh, new armor for Leo, looks like. Let's see, all right. And over here, we got this one that drains the water in the upper right. And let's see, what do we got down here? Mm, can't get down there yet. But, if you hit that switch, and let's get this treasure first. Mm, I think that's for Ronfire, if I recall correctly. Yes, er, yeah, yes it is. All right. Armor that res that gives magic defense? What madness is this? But anyway, once you hit those two switches where the water used to be, it drains the water here. Hooray! This will take us up to the... Oh, well, not the next floor, but... Well, you know what I mean. Now, even though you leave the dungeon, technically, and go back in, all the enemies are still gone. They, don't, they won't respawn for you. So, here, there's going to be more switches to hit, so just fast forward to where I killed all the enemies. I mean, fast forward! The load times? I was about to say, game? <laughs> okay, now on this floor, got the water in the middle there. So in order to lower that, just hit all these switches around here. Let's see. Hey, more treasure! Ultimate armor for Lamina, I believe. Yes, it is. And more magic defense. Awesome. Switch number three. Oh. And let's see. Number four. Ha ha! Drains all the water in the middle there. Ultimate HUD gear for Hero. And ultimate. More ultimate than ultimate weapon. Or. Er, yeah, weapon for Jean there. Let's see. I like the purple claw. Prefer the green one, but purple works too. Oop. This area is not very long, fortunately, though I did equip the yellow pajamas just in case. Or just to make things run a little faster. But anyway, yeah, just boot up where I've killed all these enemies too. There's no more uh, switch puzzles or anything like that around here, so now we can just go straight to the end. Let's see, I think there's a couple treasures around here. Where did they go? Ah, there we go. Eh, I've hardly ever used those, but eh, I, c I might be able to use it in the boss fight here. Spoiler alert, we're going to have a boss here. Well, not all of them have had them, but this one does. And there'd normally be enemies running around here, too, but I killed them all. Quite good at it, too. There's worse things than death, though. And I can do all of them. Okay, so. Now that we're here, let's get back to our regular gear. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want to go... I don't think luck would really matter. I, I guess a Stardust Ring, whatever. Uh, basically, the boss here is going to... Well, use a lot of water attacks, so you want to equip whatever you got. Uh, plasma ring there. Let's see, let's go with uh, Phoenix ring. Where is it? There you are. The wind ring doesn't protect that, does it? No. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, Jean, I'll give you the spirit talisman. And Leo, I'll give you the fiend ring, because that also protects against elemental damage. Lamina, you're screwed! But she already has stuff that I want anyway, so. Uh, let's see, with Ronfar, I also want to use the Rusty Dagger stuff as usual. Hmm, I wonder if Red Dragon Anger would be useful. Eh, I'll bring it up, just in case, although he'll be pretty busy healing, I would think. Okay, we got that for you. And, okay, I think that's everything as far as my setup goes. Now, what I want to do here, this time, I want to make Leo my tank. For this fight. Mostly because he's not really dealing that much damage anyway. There we go. So, uh, well, yeah, he's going to take the brunt of the attacks. And, the, well, there's some incapacitating effects too. So, 
Oh, God. Just barely had enough save files through all this stuff. I thought memory cards only had 15 slots, not 30. Like on the PS1. Hmm. Oh, there actually is a door here. I didn't think you could go through here until after the boss. Huh. Well, there you go. But before we do that, I want to do what we came here to do and get that other jewel that we need. Well, kind of reminds me of uh, the first game with the boss in the Meridian sewers there that came out of the water like that. For boss time against the Water Guardian. Okay, so hero, as usual, triple sword. Let's go with good fractured armor there. Uh, let's see, Jean, you'll need to heal uh, Leo there. Let's go Burning Rage as usual. And Soul Blade. Now with the Water Guardian here, when you see his arm extended like that, that means th that he's going to... Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, there, he's going to encase or incapacitate one of your characters in a bubble. I think. And I don't think there's any way of getting rid of it other than just waiting. I, th I think it wears off over time. So that that's why I put Leo up there because he's not going to deal that much damage anyway. My refreshment. Welcome to die. Maybe he's just talking to himself, referring to himself in the third person like that or something. I don't know. Whatever. What's with that tail there, anyway? Okay, now with this one, when you see it, uh... Oh, actually, it looks kind of the same as always. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter what attacks they use. We're going to be fine no matter what, anyway. So, don't even need to heal. Let's just go with... Another layer of buffs and debuffs, and that's it. I'll take care of this. I like that bubble on you, Leo. Goes with the colors. Gift of pain. Yeah, some might say Leo was living in a bubble world for most of the game. Wouldn't even face the truth. Oh well. Yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> Uh, the boss has 20,000 HP, so, yeah, it's going to take a while. I have no problem spamming a uh, triple sword against him. Ow. Well, that's okay. Do I need Ronfar to heal? Probably. Yeah, I'll have him heal. Whatever. Yeah, we got all the debuffs that I need anyway. Got Doppelganger going. Let's see, I wonder if he's weak to anything. Oh, he is weak to fire. Huh. Okay, well, yeah, then let's go with that instead of... Uh, I wonder if that would deal more damage than Catastrophe. Well, let's just go with this for now and uh, go from there. We don't need to use Earth Prayer with Leo anymore. We've got enough buffs to go around. And I think I'm going to do uh, Burning Rage every third round now instead of every other round see if that works a little better for us hmm i wonder how that dealt about the same damage without or with the second fractured armor hmm i would think he'd be dealing a lot more but maybe it was just the second one didn't reduce his defense that much well whatever Man, you're even out damaging one hit of the triple sword. Well, at least you get something good out of it. Ow! Yeah, I don't think it really matters what attack the boss is going to use. You're pretty much just going to do the same thing all the time regardless. I mean, you might change up your healing, but that's about it. You know, let's see how the uh, Red Dragon Anger works for us. We've got enough HP. I can play it a little risky. Um... Yeah, let's see how uh, Catastrophe does. I didn't look at the damage from the fireball there. So I don't know if this is going to be more or less. Ah, whatever. I'll give it a try. 
Hmm. Yeah, most of his attacks seem to either attack the party or attack whoever your tank is. There. But all right, got him. Well, not many levels to go from here. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I don't need to change anything. There's no more monsters here. So. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the other jewel there. I wonder if uh, Gwyn took the other one or something. Hmm. What do you mean, Dragon of the High Church? I don't know. Well, no. Oh. Um, yeah, let's go out this way. There's another uh, door there. I wonder where this goes. Oh! So that just goes to the other side. Hmm. I wonder. Hold on. Let me see what we got here. Okay, let's do this. Let's save there. I wonder what would happen if you tried going through there before the boss fight. Because it looked like I could. I don't think you can go there. I think you have to fight the boss, but... Well, let's check it out. Why they would do that, I don't know. But, well, whatever. Might as well. Got a little bit of extra time here. Okay, so we go up here. And go around the guy. And then what happens? Is it just gonna flood us out? Or a force field? Or invisible plot wall? Oh, so you don't have to fight the boss? Huh, well, that's weird. Huh, you still end up, ha yeah, you could just go around it. Huh, I thought you couldn't do that. Well, whatever. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. We're all done with everything there. And all that's left is the Star Dragon Tower. Can Hero finally get that luscious Lucia booty? Find out on the true finale of Let's Play Lunar 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.